Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the definition of asset, liability, equity, expense, and income. And we are also going to learn when these items should be recognized and when these items should be de-recognized. So what exactly do you mean by an asset? An asset is an economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past event. Learn this definition very clearly because in the next part, I'll be taking up questions from ACCA Study Hub Qs and ACCA Study Hub OT revision cases. And there are definitions, there are many questions on which it deals with definition of an asset. So learning the definition of an asset is very important. So what is an asset? It's a present economic resource that is controlled by the entity as a result of past events. So there are three things in this one. One, present economic resource. Second one, control. And third one, past event. So what do you mean by present economic resource? Economic resource means it has the potential to produce economic benefit. So if an item produces economic benefit, that is an economic resource. A machine is an economic resource because by using that machine, the entity will be producing product and entity will sell that product and entity will earn cash flows by selling that product produced by the machine. So a machine is an economic resource. So any item that produces economic benefit is known as an economic resource. And if it is an economic resource, which is controlled by the entity, that is the definition of an asset. And the third one in the definition of an asset is past event. What is past event? Very simple, it's purchase of an asset. So past event here means purchase of an asset. So an asset is a present economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past event. Now over to definition of liability. Liability is a present obligation of an entity to transfer an economic resource as a result of past event. So it's a present obligation and as a result of that, an entity will transfer an economic resource. Economic resource can be an asset economic resource can be a cash. Normally it's a present obligation which will result in probable outflow. This you might have already learned in IAS 37, provisions, contingent liability and contingent asset. So in the definition of liability, all you have to remember is it's a present obligation and there will be probable outflow of resources. Probable means more than 50% chance. Equity is a residual interest in the net asset of an entity. Residual means the balance. Balance interest in net asset of an entity. Net asset means asset minus liability. So once you detect as liabilities from asset, whatever is the balance, whatever is a residual interest, that is known as equity. Now the definition of income. Income should cause an increase in asset or a decrease in liability. Now let us take an example of an income. An example of an income is sales or revenue. Sales, it can be a cash sale or it can be a credit sale. In case of cash sale, cash comes to the organization which causes an increase in asset. Even if it is credit sale, we will debit receivable and credit revenue. Debit receivable, receivable is increasing. So definitely income will cause an increase into the asset or opposite to liability, decrease in liability. Income also result in increase to equity, excluding contribution from equity holders. Here equity means return earnings, return earnings means profit. So if there is income, income will increase profit. If profit increase, it will increase return earnings. If return earnings increase, it will cause an increase to equity. So income is increase in asset, decrease in liability, and increase in equity, that is increase in return earnings as a result of increased profit, common sense. Now, the last definition, expense. Expenses decrease in asset or increase in liability. Let us take an example, purchase. 
So purchase, there are two types of purchase, one cash purchase. So if you purchase using cash, the cash balance will decrease, it's a decrease in asset. Or if you purchase on credit payable, the liability will increase, increase in liability. Expense also result in decrease to equity, excluding distribution to equity holders. Distribution means dividend. You know that dividend is not an expense. Dividend will be deducted from return earnings. Other than that, an expense will cause decrease to equity. What is equity here? Return earnings. Return earnings here means profit. That means if expense is there, it will decrease the profit as a result of that it will decrease the retain earnings as a result of that equity will decrease so the equity in the case of income and expenses basically profit and return earnings so what is expense decrease in asset increase in liability or decrease in equity that is decrease in profit that is decrease in return earnings so we have learned the five definition of the five elements asset liability equity expense and income and remember these five items are known as elements. Now let's learn when these elements are recognized and when these elements are de-recognized. To recognize an element and once again what are those elements? Elements means asset, the five item asset, liabilities, equity, expense and income. So when will you recognize an asset? When will we recognize a liability? When will you recognize an equity? When will you recognize an expense? When will you recognize an income? Very simple. One, it should provide useful information. Second, it should provide relevant information. Third, it should provide faithful representation. And remember this definition very clearly because in the upcoming videos, I'll be uploading ACCS Study Hub cases and ACCS Study Hub OT revision cases where we will learn about recognition and its objective type questions. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will know when I upload this. So three points, an asset, a liability, an equity, an expense or an income will be recognized if it provide useful information if it provide relevant information, if it provide faithful representation. And the last one, de-recognition. What do you mean by de-recognizing? It means removing an asset or removing a liability. So when should you remove an asset? When should you remove a liability? An asset should be de-recognized when control is lost. So control is the most important word in the definition of an asset. An asset is an economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past event. So when the entity loses the control, that asset should be de-recognized. And what about liability? What is the definition of liability? A present obligation. So whenever there is no more present obligation, then we have to de-recognize the liability. So when the control is lost, de-recognize asset. When there is no longer present obligation, de-recognize the liability. So thank you everyone. See you in my next video again on conceptual framework. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and all the best for your ACCA exams.